Hello, everybody. Welcome to Haven Cave Block episode 21. Uh, we make the Fizzle Fuel Line, which was inspired by somebody I mentioned in the uh, episode. So check out, see how this is set up. It is a long one, so let's dive into this episode. All right, guys, I just got done with that last episode. We've got six of these reactors in here now. Uh, and what I want to show you guys is I built this wall of... Uh, wait, these are flux controllers. They're supposed to be gigantic. All right, give me one second to replace these guys. They're supposed to be the gigantic. Uh, at flux, the gargantuan. Ones, okay. There we go. And are we building one of these? I, I manually place them between episodes. Get back in this corner here real quick. Apparently we can uh building one base. Okay. Now I built this wall of the gargantuan flux storage. And if we right shift right click this to store this, we can with the uh, flux configurator, we can come in here to all of these and fill them all full of RF or FE or whatever you want to call it. And based upon the one so we we will have so much power to access uh, when we need it based upon this okay so um so we'll have a lot of power left over and stored in this. If we need to, we can bring it out one and store more power. Um, that's going to empty these out. And they're generating roughly in total about 6 million RF per tick. Because they're all producing about a half a million each. So, yeah, a lot of power. So, on to the next thing. I noticed that a lot of the creative items... Here we go. I uh, will say creative. Um, re require us to... Uh, let's see here. The creative chemical tank. This is a good example. Requires antimatter pellets. Antimatter pellets is what we need to make. Um, we need to make them in a SPS from polonium. Polonium is gotten from solar neutron activators, which we haven't made yet because we haven't made the HDPE sheets yet. That will be coming up, hopefully, in this episode. And one of the things I first need is fissile fuel. And, um... 
I was trying to figure out what the best way of doing it. I actually did a little bit of research. And I am using uh, a, another YouTuber's method of making fissile fuel uh, in this pack. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, the person is a chosen architect. If you guys want to look this up, how he did it. It's this will be my version of doing it. Uh, but like I said, it's based upon his concept. Uh, it's a scalable method. Uh, I'm going to use a lot of the same methods as him, so... Let me clear out this room, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, I got this cleared out, and I've got a little bit of this stuff that we're going to need in our inventory. We're going to have to get more, but all of these have EMC, so pretty much indefinite numbers of these items. Anyway, um, what I would like to first do is sit, come down two spaces into this and place a, a sink here. Yeah. We're going to have the sink. We're going to need another one of these ultimate upgrades. Or, even better yet, we put the sink down one more level so we can have it come off of here with uh, at pipes. Grab one of the wrenches that we need. I uh, will add a ultimate pipe upgrade, which should be more than enough fluid. We have it coming off here and uh, here. Cover up this portion. And the first thing we want to do is take some of these, well, I, I want to set out these quantum interlopers, or in, entanglopers, and uh, go through this one here, and clear all the sites for all of these. And the reason behind this is we don't want it to be accepting or transporting anything uh, right away. Just be blank, you know. We will take our configuration card here. And it's like we did with these over here. We shift right the click that and we've got this. And we can actually uh, paste these into here. So this is an empty quantum quantum entangleloper, and all of them should now be empty. Okay, so that that's what the first thing we wanted to do was. Okay, now. I want to set this electrolytic separator on here. Um, it does have power. Okay, because of our in inventory. And I want to set two of these quantum entanglopers on either side of these. 
when this one, we want to make sure that we're going to put just hydrogen in here. So we're going to site config, we're going to go to gases. We're going to say you can import on this side. Okay. We're going to set this to hydrogen. And I spell this. Probably not. Okay, so hydrogen. Yes. Okay, so we're going to set this to the hydrogen network. Uh, we could make this private, but it doesn't matter. It can be public because we're the only ones playing on this. So all of this will hold the hydrogen in it. Okay, so we can see the hydrogen right up there. Now on the right hand side, we could click that, but we could also now put in oxygen. Ah, got the first three letters right at least. Ox. Okay, and we can set this one like this configure gas to be input on this side and you can see here it will empty both of these sites out next we would like a rotary condenser we'll set this here we'll uh, clear out all the uh, side configurations for gases and fluids and we're just going to say input from the bottom and we're going to output to the right for gases all right and we can toggle the operation where we're making water vapor so we want this one to be a gas input on this side we're going to say water Vapor. Now, I like uh, doing, making sure each letter is capitalized. Now with our flux network, we can come in here and attach a flux point one to these guys and give it the Malcor network. Uh, we can even say you can like do all that type of stuff. And so we're building up hydrogen, we're building up oxygen, and we're building up water vapor. Those are some basic uh, stuff that we need. We can even go in here and say speed uh, upgrades and energy upgrades these are really loud so let's also grab muffling upgrades okay so we can put muffling upgrades in here energy speed upgrades muffling energy speed and we no longer hear it. This is filling this up and this up of uh, water vapor or the hydrogen and oxygen. So that is the first thing we need from the quantum interlopers to make fizz out fuel. Okay, we could actually start on uh, my viewpoint is always start on the end thing where we want the fizz out fuel so we would have an isotopic separator uh pumping out fizz out fuel but we want to go through each of these steps and see what each of these requires. So we can look at the uranium oxide. 
which is just yellow cake uranium through a chemical oxidizer, which is already in seed. So we can have uh, one of these quantum interlopers. We're, we're going to come over here to uh, this area over here. Let's see here. We'll, we'll take this out. Uh, we'll, we'll place it in here. Uh, we'll place down a couple of these quantum interlopers, and we're going to get exporters here onto each of these. And they'll, they'll be all for different items, but for this one, we need the yellow cake uranium being exported. Okay, yellow cake uranium. We can come in here now, make a channel, say yellow cake uranium. Yellow cake you ran. Okay, so. And we can have this configured so items are inputted to the top. So if we look in here, we don't see anything imported yet because uh, we don't have the cables hooked up to it yet. All right. And we'll just go above the door here. All right, so all of these. So we see that yellow cake uranium are getting put in there. We can say stack upgrades and speed upgrades. Three of these lovely speed upgrades. We want to do this for all of these, uh, just so we can like constantly keep this full of yellow cake uranium. Okay, so let's go back down here. So we know that the yellow cake uranium. Uh, Okay, so this is the only way to make this. So we just need a chemical oxidizer. A chemical oxidizer. Okay, we'll go in behind this and place one of these quantum interlopers. We'll say the uh, eject in the front, auto eject, we're going to say that this is the yellow cake uranium one. So we can set this in front of it, uh, configure that the back gets the input of those. So this now is making the uranium oxidize. Uh, we need more of those quantum. Remember, take the card to each of these as we're doing this and right click. We say that this is uranium oxide. Uranium oxide. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a gas. So we want to side configure this gas wise to input on that side. We want gases to output on the right. Uh, 
Uh, it is a gas, isn't it? I'm trying to figure out which one is the slot. And... Um, give me a second to figure this out, guys. Okay, after randomly kicking, clicking some buttons, uh, apparently we got it. So let's get this up and running. Okay, so uh, it is on the left hand side is the uranium oxide. So for some odd reason, or is it on the right? Okay, so it's on the right. <sighs> Let's see here. If that clears, yeah, okay, I don't understand it. Uh, so some more speed upgrades. Uh, we can add more speed upgrades and definitely more muffling upgrades. So speed and energy upgrades. Just so, so we're producing this as fast as possible. Definitely add those muffling upgrades as one of the first things. We can see that that is now building up. All right, so that is that. So next, uh, to get this uranium hexafluoride, we, we already have the uranium oxide being made. So now we need the hydrogen fluoric acid. Okay, so which requires sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is made by water vapor, which we already have, and sulfur trioxide, uh, which will give us this, uh, the sulfuric acid. Sulfur trioxide is sulfur dioxide and oxygen, which again, we already are producing. Okay, sulfur dioxide is made by another chemical oxidizer with sulfur dust getting pumped in. So one of these over here, we'll say this one, we'll get the sulfur dust. Um, again, three speed upgrades and a stack upgrade. And while we're here, might as well get the uh, last one going as well. Uh, speed. All right, uh, which will be the fluoride blocks. If I can remember how to spell it. Uh, F L O Okay, so we'll do fluoride blocks in this last one. Okay. Make sure we spelled this correctly. Uh Fluorite uh, item input on the top, and this one is sulfur dust, sulfur dust. and items on the top. Okay, so.
Okay, so now that all of those are being set up over there to automatically uh, come into quantum entangleovers, we can come into here, get this one set up for sulfur dust, which we need another one of these chemical oxidizers. Uh, chemical oxidizers. We want to make sure that this is set to sulfur dust. Okay. You can set this chemical oxidizer so it gets uh, items on the back. We have to remember that this has to be auto ejectable. Okay, so there we go. We're getting sulfur dust. We want gases to output on the right. So we can set this down and say sulfur. Sulfur dioxide. Okay, so that's pumping into here. Oh, we want to make sure that this new. No. Uh, no, this should be uh, uranium oxide. Should be sulfur dioxide. All right. Uh, again, speed muffling the whole nine. So next, we need to make sulfur trioxide. So we just need now we could set a uh, let's go through here. Again, clearing this because we, we took the wrong pattern. We want to make sure that this is completely void of anything. When we come in here, we'll say on the back, it's going to have gases. Uh, it's going to output in the front, which should be the one facing us. Okay. Of gases, we want it to eject. We could actually set all the sides to that. And we want to say oxygen. Okay, so now... I want to dump the excess hydrogen because apparently hydrogen fills up. We can even dump the excess oxygen once it builds up. Um, to make this sulfur trioxide, we need both sulfur dioxide and oxygen coming in to a chemical infuser. So we're going to need a couple of these chemical infusers here. And I'm going to set the gases. So this side here 
will come from the right hand side. Just gonna clear all of these out except for the electric. Uh, it's going to get the input two from that side. We're going to get input one from the back. And is this ejecting? Okay, I'm... Oh, okay, okay. I... Does the oxygen need to be... Yeah, the oxygen is on that side. Sulfur dioxide is on that side. Oh, we have it input. We want it output. Okay, so we're we're gonna set all the there we go. And now uh we can take from this right here, since we already have the sulfur dioxide going into it on the one side. Uh we can output and eject on, and there we go, we're getting sulfur trioxide. Now we want it to eject on the right here. So let's take this quantum and tangle over. Okay. All right, and we will say that this is sulfur trioxide. I know, I know, guys, I'm going a little bit slow here. And uh, I want it input on that side on the right. All right. Input on the right. Um, sulfur trioxide, a gas, or it should be a gas. So let me figure this out again, guys. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys noticed this. I did not have the output on the gas one. <sighs> so we have the sulfur trioxide, which now we need the sulf uh, sulfuric acid, which requires water vapor in another chemical infuser. So we're going to set this chemical infuser here. Uh, we'll set this flux point down automatically. Uh, another, like I said, another chemical infuser. Uh, we will clear the gases. Uh, we're going to get the Sulfur trioxide on this side. We're going to get the water on this, or the the water vapor from this side. So we can actually set down another one of these. There we go. Uh, we'll set this to be water vapor. And it's going to be a gas 
output on that side. So actually, since we're going to just, oh, check on water vapor coming out of this side. This one, the sulfur trioxide, uh, is going to have a output on the right where we're going to just eject and that's going to make the sulfuric acid. Okay, I think that is it for this side. So let me get these guys uh, all powered and upgraded with uh, muffling and stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, um... I just noticed we have not done this and made this sulfuric acid. Um, I don't know why we didn't do that. Okay, so it is going to be a gas, so it's going to get the input from the back. And this is going to be on the front for gases, output, ejection on, I think, there we go, okay, so, yeah, on the back because it's facing that way. Um. Yeah, we got this. We got this. So the next thing we're going to make is this uh, hydrofluoric acid, which requires sulfuric acid and fluoride blocks. Okay, so remember, we can get fluoride blocks from this. So we just come here. We look here to this. Set this to fluoride, and we will say on the front here, eject on. Okay, so to make this, we need a chemical dissolution chamber. So a chemical uh, dissolution chamber. Okay, so we set this here. We side config the back to be not extra. We want it to be input. Okay, so we get that. And don't need any eject or anything for the for that. So we just say on gases. Well, we're going to input from the right. We're going to export to the Input from the left, export from the right. Sulfuric acid, since that's what this is already. We'll go to gases and we'll say on the front side, we're going to output eject on. And this is going to get the sulfuric acid here. Um, why isn't the rest all the, because I, I need to put these as being on. Okay, so now we're getting sulfuric acid in here. We can go in here and toss in this selection up here. This also can take the gas upgrade. So we wanna get the gas upgrade as well for any that can take it because that is going to help us out a lot uh, not ever using the gases. All right, so now we have, you see how much hydrofluoric acid we have here. Okay, so we can now say this gets a new channel, which will be hydrofluoric acid. Hydrofluoric.
underscore uh, I I can English. Uh, Aki. Hydrofluoric Aki. Okay, so this will get a gas config input from the left. Okay, so this is already building up the hydrofluoric acid. Not enough room and output. So there we go. It's making the hydrofluoric acid. So now we can we have all the stuff to make the uranium hexafluoride. Okay, so um which requires a chemical infuser again. Fine and dandy. Okay, so we will set this so I'm deciding since we need items from this, right? The uranium oxide. We will set uh, one of these quantum entangle uh, to the uranium oxide. We'll side config this to gases on the front output. Eject on. And we can set this here so that this will be uh, I guess uh, the uranium oxide. It's fine. It doesn't matter which side. And on the left side of this, we're going to get the input two, which will be the hydrofluoric acid. We'll just need to set this up under gases to output on the right. We hear that it's getting power. And we can install those beauties in there. And we get the uranium hexafluoride in here. So we need another one of those quantum. I thought I had enough. So we just need uh, two more of these for the initial thing. And The reason why you want this set up this way um, is scalability, honestly. That, that's one reason why I went with this method of uh, making this. So we can set the quantum entangle over here. Uh, we can say that this is you ran uh, you ran um, hexafluoride. All right. And now, on the right-hand side here, to make the fissile fuel, we need one of these isotopic centrifuges. 
and we can set this guy here. Uh, configure him so he inputs from the left. We're going to output to the right here. I uh, will say that this will be fissile fuel. Uh, you will get config with gases on the input of the right. And you can set this up. Thank you to take all of these that I currently still have. And we can set the gases here so that gases input over here. So we see that's getting filled up and the gases will output with the eject on into here. This is making fissile fuel at a very good pace. And this is how we're making fissile fuel this uh, pack. Probably, uh, if I like this way, which I, it seems a little bit easier to do. Um, and honestly, if if we find anything is falling behind, like say these yellow cake, uranium, or the sulfur dust here, we, we can always expand it upwards. So we could always get more chemical oxidizers. Okay, so we could get three more chemical oxidizers. We can get uh, config cards. We want uh, one, two, and three. And say we want, actually, we just need two. And we just need um, quantum. six of these, sorry, uh, because I forgot that half of this is behind here, so. And we can now Say stack. Well, wait. We want to take one of these data cards here, one of these configuration cards. Retrieve it. Retrieve the pattern here for this. And now we can inject those patterns there. Set these three guys up here. Okay. Um, retrieve, and now we can mark all of those there. And then we can set up these three quantums like this, configure this, and now all of these are going to be making sulfur uh, sulfur uh, dioxide, right? Yeah, sulfur dioxide, which now we can say energy cables. Ultimate might as well use these ultimate uh, universal cables here. 
you know. And then, uh, yeah. Whatever we need to speed up, uh, like if we see that this right here is not producing enough, like it's falling behind because these aren't producing fast enough, uh, we can speed this up by adding those to these, which I will do between episodes. So if you liked this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, dislike it, leave a comment why you dislike this, and uh, yeah. Later, Gators.